Hey everybody, how we doing? I'm Andy Katz and this is Wages and Gaming. Uh, this video I'm going to show you a quick simple way to overclock your 5970 Black edition of the XFX card. Uh, you're going to need a few things. Uh, you're going to need the XFX Overvolt tool, ATI Overdrive which you'll have when you download the drivers. Uh, I'm using 10.8, the new ones that just came out the other month or a week ago. Uh, MSI Afterburner for helping to overclock and for the fan speed which is great and uh, just to view what's going on on the card uh, GPU Z which is great so at the moment everything is in default 725 for the clock and memory is 1000 megahertz and it's only showing 1 gig but that's okay believe it or not it's supposed to only show gig even though it's a 2 gig card um, so yeah I'm sure someone else can type in below why it does that so basically, the default, you get 23.2G pixels, blah blah blah. All you geeks out there can take a look at that. So you've got everything downloaded. Uh, now, before we start this, you'll do this at your own discretion. Okay? Uh, now, you want to go into the Catalyst Control Center and you want to click Unlock. Yeah, so you can overclock it. You then want to enable ATI Overdrive, but we're not going to use. ATI overdrive because it's shit. What we're going to use instead is MSI afterburner link below in my pants. Basically everything's on default. Um, now you want to have some programs where you can test it. I like to use the Heaven benchmark. I'll just open it up and have a look at it. So it looks like that. You know you can set all your stuff there and resolution. Now for talking sake say I get 20 frames per second with the resolution of 5760, that's with the bezel management by 1080p. I'm getting 20 frames per second there. You might not think that's a lot, but for the resolution and the screens, that is, that is a lot. So you want to go up in 20, you know, 20 megahertz increments, or 5, whatever you feel comfortable with, but not too high, you know, we're not talking like 30, 40, 50 increments. And you want to just move it up, uh, you know, until you get happy with one that's at a good level. Now I've turned it to 800 megahertz and left the mem memory clock the same at 1200. And to apply, you click apply, and we move over here, and we'll see everything change. Just like that. See, that's now showing at 800 megahertz, oh, and that's gone up to 1200, of course, because the default is 1000. Now we're not using the XFX tool here because we don't need it at the moment because you can go up to a certain point without needing it. But this is, I've put it to this because this is where I noticed the big first difference of maybe two, two to three frames extra from the default, which I used Heaven obviously to test. And that is actually a huge um, frame jump from the default. Um, which which was amazing and the score also helps you so 800 I'd say is the first stage you know from then on you can start going further on now we're not talking that you're about gaining you know that extra 10 20 frames per second that's just silly you're only going to be getting you know maybe up to five frames per second yeah if you're lucky now like I said you want to go through the increments until you get to a point where it's staying the same constantly, yeah. And from there, say about 900 megahertz, 1220, I've got it at. You can start moving the core voltage up. Uh, now you'll know when to do this because the uh, the benchmark, whatever you're using, will start to crash or it'll freeze. But don't worry about that. It's totally normal. It's just you know self preventing itself from getting harmed, which is great. Uh, your computer may not respond for a couple of minutes. You may want to turn it off. It may still not respond. That's okay. It will respond after a time. So you don't panic, whatever happens, okay? So I've got it up to that, 900. And you can watch it change here. There you go. Now look at the jump up here. You know, we're going from 23, 25, up to 28. Now, from here on, you want to start using the XFS Overvolt tool. This will help it greatly. Now you want to move it up incrementally, um, you know, so you don't damage it, and so you don't, so you know, you're not damaging it that bad. You want to use this button here, test custom clocks. Now you can do this after each stage of increments 
from the MSI afterburner. You click on test and custom clocks, it'll start testing it. It'll change your screen or screens to this strange colour. And basically you just click exit, it'll say testing here, and it's passed. So that's good. So you click accept. And it's changed, which is awesome. It's totally safe that you can then run your benchmarks again, being heaven or a good one that I like to use is Tropics, because that really does show you if it's not working too right. And then once you've got a steady, you know, setting, you want to then keep an eye on the temperatures. For each, you know, maybe 100 megahertz that you're putting on to it, the temperature's going to go up a good Celsius, or two Celsius, uh, depending on your airflow. My airflow isn't too bad. Um, I've got a f two side fans blowing into the graphics card so the temperature stays pretty low unfortunately it's a bit high at the moment it normally sits low 40s but because I've got it up at 900 it goes up to 47 so if I just put it back down to default you'll notice it starts dropping from 47 it drops straight away down to the next one and then from then on it'll start falling so anyway that's I'll just put that back to apply that's the quick and easy way to overclock your, your card. Uh, you're not going to get a, a big, you know, frames per second jump, but it is making the card that bit faster. It's going to, you know, be able to send those 3D and 2D images to you quicker, and they're going to look nicer and smoother. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, hope it helps some people out there. Uh, it's the way I've done it. Um, I normally keep it. You know, at 800 megahertz, because that's where I noticed the big difference from overclocking. Anything higher than that, you just want to do for, um, you know, overclocking, seeing how far your card can go. You know, it's fun to do, it's a good hobby. AMD ATI, God bless her soul, rest in peace. Um, it's fun to do with that, you know, they're the best at doing it, I'd say. Um, so, yeah, anyway. Guys, catch you next time. Look out for some more videos uh, if you're interested. I'm going to put up two videos now. Um, one default settings and one of my overclock settings from the Dark Tower Just Cause 2 benchmark. Um, you'll notice the difference in the frames per second at the end of the videos. So hope you can check that out. Uh, look out for more Murder Morphair 2 videos. If anyone's got any ideas for me what video uh, games to play, check that out. Also coming up this Friday, a big review on the upcoming Black Ops, which is coming out on 9th of November. Take care. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.